by Madison Street on the north, generally by Moonlight on the east, by the railroad tracks on the south, and by Center Street on the west. These are some photos of some areas in need. The one on the upper right, or excuse me, the upper left, it'd be your upper left as you're looking at the screen. That's a, a, a ramp going into the fairgrounds off of Washington Street, very close to the Aquatic Center. The uh, photo on the upper right, that is on Washington Street in that general area. And the other one is also on Washington and Elm, I believe. Again, the application deadline is May 23rd. And with that, I'll take any comments or questions you have. Thank you. Uh, would we normally hold the public hearing first and then entertain questions? <coughs> That's what I thought. I uh, need a motion to open the public hearing, though. I move we conduct a public hearing regarding the 2015 Community Development Block Grant application. Second. Motion Harrison, second Freeman, that we hold a public hearing for the purpose of receiving citizen input regarding the proposed 2015 community development block grant application. All those in favor indicate by saying aye. 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 All those opposed? The public hearing is open. That being the case, members of the audience that would like to speak in regards to the uh, discussion regarding business, new business item number one in the community development block grant. You can approach the podium, state your name and address for the record and your comments will be heard. I noticed on the, and this is more just because I'm unaware of it, how was the area that this is going to cover selected and why? And why were the unselected areas not covered? I mean, you're choosing the downtown as part of all right, let's use a block grant to downtown beautification or ramp building, whatever it is. And the other would be the photos you showed seem to show ramps that exist that need fixed. Are all our current sidewalks in the city already have ramps, or are there ones that don't have any ramps, fixed or unfixed, that should be prioritized first? We would say comments, but it answers to the question until uh, the public hearing closes. No one else coming forward. I entertain a motion to close the public hearing. So moved. Second. Motion, Harrison, second, Freeman, that we close the public hearing. All those in favor indicate by saying aye. 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 All those opposed? Public hearing is closed. Uh, New business item number two. Mike, if you could join us back at the podium. And uh, the, the one comment from the public hearing, is maybe we could uh, get that addressed first and then uh, hear questions, comments from council. The answer to that question is in the, uh, there's an attached frequently asked questions flyer that is in the packet. And uh, the answer is that the purpose of the application is to improve access, pedestrian access, between residents and services and events. A lot of those services and events are in downtown. And uh, that's where the need is greatest also because the infrastructure is, is the oldest. There are areas where there are ramps in the other residential neighborhoods but those are not as in bad condition, generally speaking. Okay. Other questions for Mike regarding the business item number two? I, I have a quick question. Th this initial grant, um, will it cover the cost of making everything ADA accessible where we don't have it and fixing what we do? Or is there, would it provide for additional funding for an ongoing maintenance as well? The funds can't be used for maintenance okay. under 
under the way we're applying for them. Um, it does not address every need out there. Uh, we believe that uh, we will e easily burn through those funds within that area before solving every problem in that area. <coughs> but it'll certainly put a pretty big, good dent in it. Other questions? Certainly entertain a motion. I move that we authorize the mayor to execute the 2015 Community, community Development Brought Grant application. Second. Motion Freeman. Second Roberts that we uh, authorize the mayor to execute the 2015 Community Development Block Grant application. All those in favor indicate by saying aye. 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 All those opposed? Motion carries. New business item number three. <coughs> Consider a request from Gardner Lake residents to declare Jason Trent and surplus real property. Ryan, good evening. Good evening. Back in 2012, um, a resident of Gardner Lake, the O'Connors, made a request to the city to acquire attractive land that was immediately adjacent to their property. Um, at that time, we were selling land between the homes and the lake, but we did not have a process in place to sell property uh, other than that. Um, so in December of 2012, uh, the City Council adopted Ordinance excuse me, Resolution 1884, which provided 13 steps or items to review uh, to determine if a property could be sold for surplus. Uh, what you have here this evening is the report process. We've identified those 13 steps I outlined within the resolution. Um, I want to highlight just a couple of them. Description of what municipal use the subject parcel has been put to use in the past and what use, if any, it might be held for in the future. The subject track, which is shown on the handout you have and also on the screen before you, has not been used by the city for any purpose staff can determine. However, the property does have significant utility as an access point to the lake Development for that purpose would not happen for many years, but there are only a few areas left on the lake where we can't do that. <coughs> One of the other points, whether the subject parcel is usable only to the abutting property owners or is of general marketability. This subject parcel is not likely to be of general marketability due to its size and the narrow dimensions of the adjacent city property, it is likely to be used only for the city or the O'Connors. With that, um, I do want to define what we mean by access. Um, we have the dam. We have a couple areas around the lake where people can get to the water. This is a city lake. It's used for recreation, for fishing. And most of the lots around there are taken, and private homes are built on them. And so we have limited ability on the west side and the east side for people to actually reach the lake on city property. So we define access as someone being able to get to the lake, whether it's by boat ramp, whether it's a picnic table, whether it's a way for someone to reach a fishing hole. So that's what we mean by access. So in reviewing these items, staff recommends that the property not be declared as surplus and that it be retained for development as a future access point for recreation at the lake. Um, with that being the uh, conclusion of your presentation, uh, we will open the floor for public comments. So if there's persons uh, in the audience that would like to speak about new business item number three, uh, Please come forward, state your name and address for the record, and be heard. 